Good morning. I just want to talk to you all a little bit today about grace. Let me tell you what grace is not. Grace is not a license to go do whatever you want to do because Jesus died for us and he paid the price for our sins. We should want to do better because of the high price that he paid. Romans 6, Paul said, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we li- How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? It's like, why are you trying to still live in sin when Jesus has given his life for you and given you this precious gift of the, the ability to live forever with him? Eternal life. Know ye not that so many of us, as were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death? Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For we, for if we have planted together, have been planted together in the likeness of his death, We shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. If you say that you are a Christian, you should not live how you used to live. It is a fight every single day to walk one foot in front of the other going forward, not going backwards. You can do it. I can do it. We have to put on the armor of God. The devil is walking about, roaring. He's, he's seeing. He's like a lion. He, he's seeking whom he may devour. Let it not be us today. Let us be in this word. Read it and obey it. Read it and obey it. You know, we can't just say that we're a Christian and just go do whatever we want to do. This is a fight every single day. The only way Satan can get to God is to take his children, to take God's children and to drag them straight to hell with him. The devil does not want to go to hell by himself. I'm trying to reach someone today that you know that God has called you. You know what you're supposed to be doing, but you have gone back to the world. You have been enticed by the things that you used to get pleasure from, and you're you're rolling around. And I want to tell you that we are not promised tomorrow. We are not promised tomorrow. Today is the day of salvation. You have to choose. <clears throat> Jesus made a way for us, but we have to choose his way. He says, you love me, you follow my commandments. I'm asking you to remember Remember your confession of faith and your profession and your confession that you confessed all your junk to him. You said, God, forgive me. Why would you go back to the pig pen? I'm asking you, prodigals. I was there. It's a fight for me because when you've been scarred by the world, you've been scarred by the world. It, it, the devil always remember how you used to do that. Remember how it used to make you feel. No, you have to stand up and you have to say, no, I am going forward with Christ. I'm not going back to my old way. The old man is dead. We're not going to roll around in in grace today. We're not going to say, you know, okay, I'll just live however I want. The devil can't make you sin. He will tempt you, and it's up to you to resist that temptation. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. I just, I hope that I reach someone today that needs to hear this. I care. I care. It's hard to put yourself out here. It's it's hard to put your face on the internet and telling people, hey, You don't have to live that way. I don't want people to go to hell. I don't want people to be taken out by the enemy. It's because I care. I'm angry at the devil today. I'm not angry at people. I'm angry that he has taken so many. And I see the calling on their life. And I know who they can be in Christ. But they go back to the world. Don't go back. Go forward. Be blessed. 
Be encouraged. Read the word of God. If you don't understand it, ask God to reveal it to you. Be encouraged today. Go forward in Jesus' name.